fine. Uh, okay, I need to um, make a bottle up. No, no, I'll, I'll do that. You go and see to Ivy. Sounds like she needs a cuddle from her dad. All she needs is a mum. I don't think anybody would argue with that. But right now, all she has is you. So we'll just put these things away, have a tidy up while you go and see to her. Worse than I thought. Rona. All I'm saying is, it's a good job we're here. Right, let me make this bottle. She sounds hungry. As long as you remember that we're here to help Gus help himself. Did I say otherwise? You didn't need to. Well then, thank heavens you're here to keep reminding me. <sighs> well, this is looking better already. I think sometimes just living in a mess makes things seem worse, don't you? I wonder if you'd mind if I put these out. I can ask if you like. I heard her bring Ivy down before. I should take this through. Oh, maybe you could leave them. It seems very quiet in there. Mum, you know as well as I do that the sooner Ivy is in a routine, the easier it will be. Rona. What, Mum? OK, fine. Do it your way. I'll just make a quick casserole. Gus needs feeding too. Thank you. I'm just making the most of the time we have here. That's all. This is a slippery slope. Hey, beautiful. Are you hungry? Should we let Daddy sleep for a little bit longer, yeah? Come on. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I know. Come on. What's this? What have I got? Look at you. Oh, there's my good girl. My good girl. Why didn't you wake me? Because you are no use to Ivy if you're shattered, are you? And you were dead to the world. She's my daughter. She's my responsibility. No, I didn't say she wasn't. I knew you'd do this, try and wheedle your way into Ivy's life. That's not what we're doing, believe me. Look, it's not a conspiracy. It's, I promise, don't turn it into one. It's not that I'm not grateful, but this can't happen again. Of course. We understand. We should go. 